Hello everybody, it's Nicole, and sorry for the shaking, but I kind of have to hold my camera in my hand for this one, but I'm coming to you with a project that I made again for Amelia, who's Amelia Ironton here on YouTube. Um, she is also the owner of AmeliaD.com, and this is where her beautiful, beautiful stamp, digi stamps come from. And this little cutie here, she is... Genie Angel. So I'm loving little Genie Angel. And this is the project that I came out with Amelia. I don't have a hook in my wall, but it is a wall hanging. I might have to shorten that string just a little bit more, but um, it's hanging on some lace. And this is the wall hanging that I came up with. And um, this is a top note shape here that I covered in um, My Mind's Eye Lost and Found collection is Union Square Home Sweet Home and I sponged it with um, tea dye from Tim Holtz. I also put this fiber all the way around here that came from Elena who is Ella Ball About here on YouTube. This bluish silver bead I got from downtown LA where I work and um, I wanted to play off um, the blues in the angel's dress here. Um, the flourish I got off of my Cricut cartridge and I believe it's the wall decor Cricut cartridge. I'm not really sure. But it was a really light brown. I, I um, spritzed it with shimmers, brownie fudge, I believe that's the name. And then I put some gold embossing powder on it. I believe that was from Recollections, and it makes it a little bit shiny and textured, so I really like the way that it came out. Jeannie Angel here, again, is from AmeliaD.com. I colored her with my, um, I believe it's Rose Art Color Pencils. Yeah, that's what they are. Rose Art Color Pencils. I did her hair brown. I glossy accented her little cheeks and her eyes. Her wings, I colored with some yellow pencils. And I put some yellow glitter glue on it from Studio G. Put some pearls on her wings. The little flourish at the bottom is a ditto stamp from Hampton Arts. I believe it came from their $1.50 bin. And then the turquoise glitter around the cuffs of her sleeves and her neck collar. And then the believe I cut out from my Cricut cartridge. I don't know what cartridge that was that I printed out. I cut it out a long time ago. I sponged it. I first painted it with Americana acrylic paint and buttermilk. And then I sponged it with tea dye and also some faded jeans from Tim Holtz. And then I glossy accented it and I put some diamond dust in it to make it a little bit shiny. The butterfly is from Martha Stewart's Butterfly Punch. And the little butterfly is also from Martha Stewart. And I just sponged the little one with some faded jeans, Tim Holtz. And I sponged the bigger one with tea dye. And put some glossy accents on it and some rhinestones. And then the flower cluster at the bottom has the um, pearl sprays there. Um, flowers that I got from downtown. This pretty brown one in the middle came from Jen Callie 78. Thanks, Jen. Um, recollections. And then the brown cherry blossoms and the cornflower blue little roses are all from Wild Orchid Crafts. So that is my project for Amelia. Amelia, I hope you like it. I think it came out really, really cute. And I really like it. So that's my project, guys. Go make sure that you check out her website. That's the back of it. Nothing amazing. There's my stamp. That's the back of the wall hanging. But I think it came out really nice. I really like it. So um, I hope you guys like it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.